Hey, what is up guys? Epic Pokemon TCG here and today guys I've got a deck profile for you. We're finally back on Pokemon TCG online. It's been a hot minute. Um been just trying to restore my account and get another one going ever since Pokemon deleted the other one I was using and never gave me an explanation and they screwed me out of a few hundred dollars. So we are back today with Garbodor Tapu Lele and uh, since I don't have a lot of experience with this deck I just decided to uh, copy a list that got top 8 at, oh god where was it? I want to say Milan, I might be wrong but I remember uh, it said it got top 8 and I remember he was uh, answering a lot of questions and I just decided to go through and just kind of look at them, read them and that way I can give you guys a little bit better of a description of this deck. So we're going to get right into it here with Garbodor. Uh, has Trash Lance for one Psychic Energy. It does 20 times for each item card your opponent's discard pile. So when you think about it guys, we have uh, cards like Fill Blower, Rescue Stretcher has been featured in some some of the new decks. We also have Super Rod, we have Ultra Ball, Level Ball, Nest Ball, BS Seeker, Trainer's Mail, Spirit Links, we have uh, Fighting Fury Belt, Choice Band, Spirit Links, I think I already said Spirit Links, I might have, I don't know. But we also have Floatstone, Switch, Escape Rope, etc. There's a lot of trainers, or not, damn it, I, I always say trainers because I played back in the old school days. But anyway, we all, we, there's just a lot of item cards in Pokemon, and so uh, periodically as the game's going on, Garbodor will just be doing more and more damage. On top of that, Garbodor is only going to give up one prize when it's knocked out, and that Psychic... Uh, <clears throat> that psychic type can also hit some stuff for weakness which is pretty good and then it also has acid spray for 70 damage flip a coin if heads discarded energy from your opponent's active pokemon so if you have a choice band that turns into 100 and you can discard an energy and you can dis something or discard something along the lines of a dce um, double dragon just, ex just whatever and then of course trash lance will be hitting for some extra damage uh, we run a 4-4. I also want to note that you can run a 3-1 split adding in the other Garbodor. I remember the reason why he said he just didn't run it was because Wobbuffet did the job just fine. Uh, Wobbuffet has Bide Barricade. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, each Pokemon in play, in each player's hand, and in each player's discard pile has no abilities except for Psychic Pokemon. So that means you can freely use your Tapu Lele's Wonder Tag and you don't have to worry about restrictions with Wobbuffet. Uh, this is going to stop abilities such as Decidueye's Feather Arrow, it's going to stop Foul Plume's ability, and just uh, stop Shaman's, it's going to stop a lot of different things, which is actually pretty good. It also has Psychic Assault, which actually isn't too bad of an attack, this attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So essentially that means if your opponent's Pokemon is just heavily damaged, you're able to get a couple energy on Wobbuffet, you can knock the living crap out of it. I wasn't sure what Trubbish to go with, so I just went with this one, the little Play-Doh looking one. Uh, Stomp Off is actually a pretty good attack. Discard the top card of your opponent's deck. Maybe you had the potential to hit an item card or something like that, which is pretty pretty nice. Uh, but we also run three Tapu Lele GX. This is the most sought out card in Guardians Rising. It has the ability Wonder Tag. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may search your deck for a supporter card, reveal it, and put it in your hand, shuffle your deck afterward. It has the attack energy drive for 20 times, since the deck does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon. And of course it doesn't apply weakness or resistance, but still that's a pretty strong attack. And then of course Tapu Cure GX to heal all damage from two of your bench Pokemon. So if you just had two Pokemon on your bench that are about to get knocked out, you can just Tapu Cure and heal them completely. Uh, the cool thing about uh, Tapu Lele is of course if you open with an Ultra Ball and they're not all prized, you are guaranteed a supporter. Which is really good because we have a lot of different kinds of supporters for a lot of different situations. Next up we have Tauros GX. I actually read that he really loved Tauros GX in a lot of his matchups. Uh, pretty much it takes a DCE to use all three attacks. Rage does 20 plus 10 more for each damage counter on Tauros. Horn attack just does 60 damage which actually isn't too bad. Uh, if you throw a choice band onto it it does 90 for just a DCE so that's pretty good. And then Mad Bull GX 30 times this deck does 30 damage for each damage counter on Tauros. So, uh, pretty much if your opponent knocks the living crap out of one of your Pokemon, uh, let's say they attack a Tapu Lele or they attack a Wobbuffet, of course you do have Ninja Boy in this deck, so you can Ninja Boy and just kind of surprise them with a Tauros, which is really good. So essentially with this, you're going to be using Garbodor as your main attacker in a lot of different situations, and Tapu Lele is there to grab your supporters and just kind of be a backup attacker. And then Wobbuffet is going to be shutting down abilities and also providing a potential attacker in its own self. And then Tauros is also going to be just kind of that big wall that's going to dish out a lot of damage. So pretty self-explanatory on a lot of different Pokemon here. Uh, just what they do is what they do. 
Uh, next up, we have the supporters here. Of course, we have Professor Sycamore, the best draw supporter in, in the entire game, in my opinion. And then we have 3N, along with one Lily. These are going to kind of be your draw supporters here. Uh, two Pokemon Fan Club. I saw someone ask, why not Bridget? And that's just because Bridget just doesn't work with Tapu Lele. You can Pokemon Fan Club, search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon, reveal them, and put them in your hand. You can grab a Tapu Lele and just have a supporter ready for next turn if you don't get in. Along with that, you can also grab a couple Trubbish, just kind of get some Pokemon set up on your field. And then we also have one Delinquent. We also run three Parallel Cities, so that's going to kind of be a extra tar extra three targets for yourself throughout the game with Delinquent. Uh, this can also discard p uh, popular stadiums like uh, Skyfield, Rough Seas. Uh, it can discard uh, the Altar Stadiums, just any stadium in general that might be big you know, going forward in the future. But Delinquent is just a good card because you can discard a stadium, get rid of the effect on your opponent's field or your field, and then your opponent has to discard three cards. That's pretty good. Another thing you can do with this deck against Rayquaza, uh, I apologize if I stuttered a lot just then, uh, something you can do with Parallel City is you can limit your opponent down to three if you're facing Rayquaza and then hit them with a Wonder Tag to search for Delinquent, so that means they're going to be losing their Skyfield, or if they don't even have a Skyfield, they're going to be losing a lot of Pokemon, and then they have to discard three cards, and that can just be extremely brutal in its own self, just limiting your opponent down to three Pokemon on their bench and then making them discard out of their hand is such a disruptive thing. And then, of course, we have two Lysander. This is just so you can bring up something off the bench and just kind of take it out. Uh, we also have Team Rocket's handiwork. I want to note that uh, in the picture that I saw, he had a full art supporter behind the card, and I couldn't make it out really. So I did some research. I looked it up, and the picture that I found that matched the most was the full art version of this card. And so, if I'm wrong, don't, you know, feel free to comment down below. But Team Rocket's handiwork: flip two coins for each head, discard two cards from the top of your bonus deck. If you can hit both of them, that's four cards. Uh, that's pretty good because you have the potential to discard an item card. You can hit a Pokemon. You can hit energy, just whatever. So that's pretty good. You never know when that might come in handy, and you can just kind of disrupt your opponent a little bit. Uh, but we also have three VS Seekers. This is just so you can get back your supporters and reuse them. Uh, Field Blower is a very good card. Choose up to two in any combination of Pokemon tool cards and stadium cards in play and discard them. Let me make sure I didn't miss any. I did not miss any supporters, I don't think. If I did, oh well. But we also have Rescue Stretcher. Uh, this is going to sort of be another Super Rod for this deck. But it has two effects you can choose from. Put a Pokemon for your discard pile into your hand. And then you can shuffle three Pokemon for your discard pile into your deck. So if you Rescue Stretcher and you have a Tapu Lele in your bench, you can bring it to your hand and get yourself another supporter. Or you can shuffle in three Pokemon. So that means you can get something like a Garbodor line and a Tauros Garbodor line and like a Wobbuffet, two Wobbuffet. Just whatever the situation might call for. And then, of course, you also have Super Rods. Pretty much the same thing. Shuffle in three combination of Pokemon and Basic Energy. The only difference is you can get Psychic Energy with this. So you can just kind of put your Pokemon back in your deck and keep reusing them. We also have Choice Band, which is going to be uh, one of the new tools coming out of Guardians Rising. It's not too bad. Uh, the attacks of this Pokemon, this card is attached to, do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon EX and GX so that's really good. Uh, you could just do some more damage with your Pokemon. And then, of course, Floatstone uh, just takes away the retreat cost. It's probably going to be mostly used for Wobbuffet, but it just kind of gives free retreat to all of your Pokemon. just kind of allows you to retreat freely. And then for energy, we have uh, four double colorless. This is just going to give you, uh, you know, extra energy, as you can see right here. Uh, colorless, colorless, and if you need to retreat, that's there uh, probably. Well, yeah, it can help on Garbodor too, so that's pretty good. And then, of course, 7 Psychic Energy. And that is pretty much the deck. It is a simple but complicated deck in a way. You just have to be smart about what you play and how you play it. Uh, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and just get this deck out of the way, get it covered, because I know this is one of the bigger decks, and I have been spending a lot of time trying to get all the stuff for this deck, and I just went with a list that got top 8. But uh, if you guys didn't miss it, I already have a deck profile up for today. I'm just going to just do two in one day, uh, give you guys a little more content. So I did take a little bit of a hiatus there. I've, I covered a Raikou Tapu Koko Electro deck. So I'll have that at the end card of this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. It would be much appreciated. I apologize for all the stuttering. My mouth is extremely dry, and I stutter more than usual when my mouth is dry. So I'm going to go chug a bunch of water. Take care, guys. I love you. 
And this is Epic Pokemon TCG signing out. If I did miss anything, make sure to comment down below because I do not have a lot of experience with this deck, so I probably more than likely missed something. So take care, guys. Oh, <laughs>